Bonjour à tous and welcome to French for a day. This is my little French corner on YouTube where I love to talk about French beauty, fashion and lifestyle. I post a new video every Saturday and today we're talking about Parisian style secrets of well-dressed French women. Face and hands are the most socially expressive parts of humans' anatomy and that's why we spend a lot of time taking care of our face and hands, spending a lot of time, effort and money making ourselves look beautiful. But what often people neglect is the fashion and style. People start to form an opinion about you way before they see your face or hands because the clothes cover the bigger part of your body so the clothes are something that people are going to see first especially if they don't know you or in a formal situation people are usually going to start forming an opinion about a person based on their clothes and based on their style and that's why style is so important whether we want to admit it or not fashion is identity it tells us at a glance the social status of the wearer and it gives us a lot of information also about religion beliefs education sometimes nationality from wedding band to old school jeans every item of apparel helps us establish its owner's place in society and there couldn't be a more clear index to an individual's wealth taste and education than what she or he is wearing. And that's where style comes into place. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my Parisian secrets, my Parisian style tips that are going to help you to look your best, no matter the situation. Number one is going to be understanding the difference between cheap and inexpensive. In France, taxes are sky high and people can't afford to shop luxury fashion. Houses such as Dior, Chanel, Prada, Gucci, you are going to be paying for the brand, for the marketing, for the history of the brand. So people cannot afford that. You don't have to buy the most expensive clothes to look good. It's good to have a look at the material, the cut and to buy timeless pieces. And you can find that at much more affordable prices. And I've made a list for you with some of my favorite brands that have incredible pieces, that have incredible clothing, but at the same time, they are not too expensive. So one of my favorite designers is Luisa Spagnoli. This one is very easy to find in Italy. They also have an online store, but they create timeless pieces that are of a high quality and they are not too expensive. So here the price and the quality are at an incredible ratio. This is one of my favorite places to shop. And then another store that I really love is Karen Millen. This is a UK brand and I think that they have some incredibly beautiful dresses. And in general, I love the fashion that Karen Millen creates in terms of price and quality. And then we also have more affordable brands such as Sisley and Benetton. Again, these are even a little bit cheaper compared to Luisa Spagnoli and Karen Millen. And then we have the most affordable ones, which are Mango, H&M, ASOS, Reserved. Reserved is a brand that I think is not very much appreciated and not many people talk about it, but I have being able to find beautiful pieces there. Um, I think that this is a Polish brand and it's more available in some European countries. But I think that they make good pieces and they make a good fashion. So what's important here is to look at the cut, to look at the material and to go for timeless pieces that are going to look expensive and that are going to look beautiful. Sometimes you can buy pieces that look very cheap also from luxury brands such as Chanel, Dior, Prada, Gucci. Some pieces just look cheap and they're usually temporarily fashionable and you're going to spend a lot of money purchasing such a piece but you're probably not going to wear it for a long time because it's going to be fashionable and trendy only for a season and when you're shopping for fashion try to stick to pieces that can remain in your wardrobe for years to come and always look at the quality of the pieces that you're buying. Next, we're moving on to tailor fit garments. And this is something that I think most people underestimate. You just want to go in store, you want to buy a garment and you just want to wear it. Well, sometimes this doesn't work the right way because a tailor fit 
garment is going to make a huge difference. It's going to make the whole difference in how you're going to look. And I often buy a lot of the fashion that I buy, I go to the tailor to resize it for me. This is also going to allow you to shop from a lot of different retailers and this is going to help you to buy more affordable pieces. So you can just go ahead and buy a piece of clothing that is going to be quite affordable and to make it look expensive by a tailor fit. I know that a lot of people don't want to be bothered to go to the tailor to get something resized for them, but if you do that, if you go that extra mile, you can actually have unique pieces in your wardrobe that are going to look expensive and that are going to last you for years. Especially this happens for me with dresses. I'm going to buy a dress that is quite affordable. I'm going to go to the tailor to resize it for me to make it fit perfectly and to make it perfect for my body shape. Let's face it, sometimes the regular sizes just don't fit everyone. Sometimes the dress or a blouse is going to be too loose somewhere or it's going to be too tight on other parts of the body and you always have to compromise, you always have to think how you're going to style this, you have to put a belt or you end up buying pieces that after you go home and after you start wearing them, you see that they don't actually complement beautifully your body shape. This is because when garments are created, you have some standard sizes, but we come in all different sizes and shapes and one size doesn't fit everyone. And sometimes you might be in between sizes. So it's always good to find a tailor with whom you can communicate. And this is going to widen your options. It is going to make the whole difference. Also, if you have good relations with your tailor, you can also ask them for personalized tips about your body shape and what is going to look good for you when you're shopping, what is going to complement your body shape, because these are professionals that are going to give you the best personalized tips about yourself and the best style tips for yourself. They work with body shapes um, and they've seen all different body shapes, body sizes, and they are going to give you the best personalized tips as well. So this is something additional that you're going to get. These people who are professionals, they also work professionally with colors and they're going to be able to give you an advice also about different colors and different materials that you can look for. Yes, you're going to pay a little bit extra, but then looking at the whole picture, you're going to have a garment in your closet that you can wear for years to come. So spending a little bit extra to resize it, to make it yours, to make it tailored for you, is definitely worth the splurge. Number three is going to be taking care of your clothes. Always make sure to look at the labels, always make sure to know how to take care of your clothes. And if you have a stain, let's say on a dress or on some garment, make sure to remove the stain and try to remove the stain immediately because the longer the stain remains, the harder it, get, it gets to be removed. So always make sure to take good care of your garments. If you scroll back to my videos, I have been on YouTube for years. Um, it's probably four or five years I'm on YouTube. You're going to see me wearing the same dresses, um, some pieces of clothing that I have and I have worn three years ago. I still have them. They still look like new just because I take good care of them. So uh, this can save you a lot of money and it can allow you also to buy more expensive pieces because if you take good care of them, they are going to last you for years. So make sure to always respect the labels. Next, we have a typical Parisian style secret and this is buy standout pieces that can elevate your look instantly. It doesn't matter whether you're going to wear just a cozy sweater and jeans, this one garment is going to instantly elevate your look. It's something that you're going to grab when you don't know what to wear. You're going to grab, you're going to wear it and this is going to elevate your look. Now this most often is going to be a beautiful blazer or a jacket. It can be a trench coat, it can be also a belt or a scarf, but most often this one standout piece that can elevate your look is going to be a blazer or a jacket. This is something that is going to fit your body perfectly and is going to elevate your look. And you can wear it with a dress, you can wear it with the jeans, with pants, with trousers, with anything that you're wearing. You need at least one such piece in your wardrobe that is going to work for different seasons. 
let's say for the spring season, it's usually for me, it's going to be a blazer, a tailored fit blazer or a trench coat. I also always have a beautiful scarf that I can tie on my handbag or on my neck that again instantly gives me this elevated look whatever I'm wearing. So look for such pieces and in the description box I did a little spring edit with some garments that I really like and that I think are worth checking out right now. Of course it doesn't mean that you have to buy these, this is just to give you some ideas. Next clean your closet at least once a year, make sure that you don't have clothes in your closet that you're not wearing. I'm saying that it's good to clean your closet once a year because if you if there is a garment in your closet that you didn't wear for a whole year, chances are that you are not going to wear it. And having too many pieces in your wardrobe is going to create um, chaos. It's going to create a mess and it's giving you the impression that you have clothes and at the same time in the morning when you want to dress yourself, you will think that you don't have anything to wear and to create an outfit for the day. So having a clean organized closet is always going to help you when you're shopping. It's going to help you to put up different outfits for the week and for the day. I know that sometimes it's very painful to say goodbye to some clothes that you bought years ago or something that you're not wearing but for real if you're not wearing a piece and if you're not wearing a garment just let it go because this is going to help you to keep your closet organized. And then my last tip is going to be giving structure to your look. So make sure that you're not wearing everything that is too wide. It doesn't matter what is the shape of your body. Sometimes we are too self-conscious about the way our body looks. We are always on track to lose weight. And this is something very damaging, I think. To our style and to ourselves. So, so having a little bit of structure in your look is always going to help you a lot. Let's say that you want to hide your belly and that's why you're always wearing this kind of a very big oversized sweaters. Well, if you wear them on top of your jeans or trousers, it always looks a little bit not as good as if you tuck them in and if you tuck them in your jeans or in your pants or in your skirt and you might sometimes want to tuck in only the front part of your sweater. You need a little bit of to add a little bit of structure so that you can create a beautiful silhouette. It can be with a belt or you can have um, a little structure here on the wrists. Let's say that the whole outfit is going to be very loose but if it fits here, if you have a little fit here on the wrists or on the neck, it's always going to create a little bit of structure. Or in other words, make sure that your whole outfit is not all oversized. Let's say really wide oversized pants with oversized sweater. It's never going to look too good. It's never going to look well structured and well put together. And of course, what we mentioned in the beginning of this video, the face and the hands are very important. Having cared for nails is always going to make you look good. It's always going to make you look polished. And if you don't have a lot of time to go to the nail salon, some people love to do their nails alone. I am one of them. In times when I'm stressed out or in times when I know that I'm not going to be able to take good care of my nails, I'm usually just going to cut them short. I'm going to file them and I'm going to choose a nude color for my nails. It always makes them look very beautiful, polished, professional and it makes you look put together. As well, if you have a chip somewhere, it's not going to be that visible as let's say if you have a statement red color on the nails. So these were my quick and easy Parisian style tips that you can start using right away. And of course, in one single video, I cannot cover this whole topic. I'm sure that you have a lot that you would like to add to this tip. So I can't wait to hear your thoughts. I can't wait to learn more tips from you. So be sure to leave me a comment. Thank you so much for spending time with me and for watching my videos. A bientôt.